Hi, thanks for watching my video. I made this video uh, yesterday. It's called uh, Shroom of Doom and Car Jump Arena. It's got this crazy looking mushroom. And down here in the comments, it says, could you please explain how to import this into Blender and what file format do we have to download it with? Well, I got it. If you look in the description right here, it tells you I, I put links to Blender, Sketchfab, and then a direct link and gave the proper license, which is Creative Commons, to the original creator of the the Shroom of Doom. <clears throat> so if you click on that, it will bring you here to Sketchfab. And that's where I got the uh, the download. As far as the file formats, if you click right here, you can see it has Blender. If, if you're new, or if you're not that familiar with um, Blender, I would highly recommend doing everything in GLB. So we'll download it in GLB. So here's our download. It's the GLB. We'll open up Blender. Go to File, Import, GLB, Downloads. There's our file, and there it is. <clears throat> come over here and get rid of your camera, get rid of the light, and come over here, and you're going to see three globes. Click on the middle one, and it's going to apply the texture for you. And that's all you got to do. Highlight it, go to File, Export, Export as a DAE, go to your Downloads folder, create a folder. Give it a unique name. We'll call it, um, I got to be very careful here because I already have this file in Blender. I mean, already are, have it in BeamMG, so I cannot give the file the same name and I cannot give the item the same name. So I have to give it something different because that can cause texture issues. <clears throat> and uh, we'll call this one, we're just going to call it Mush, not Mushroom because I don't want to get... I don't want to create any issues inside uh, BeamMG. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this needs to be done, but as I always say, I check them. Nothing ever goes wrong. If I don't check them, sometimes I know what each one means too, but I check them anyways. So again, we went created a folder, gave it a unique name, cr gave a unique name to the item, click those, and we're going to click export. All right, now we're going to go to our downloads folder, and there's the shroom. And you can see the DAE and the two files, uh, JPEGs, that are the materials, are already in there. <clears throat> so let's figure out where we want to put them. Now, I already have this in Car Jump Arena. If you're going to put it into a level that a person made, you go to your mods folder. And for example, Car Jump Arena. right there, um, car killer showroom, stuff like that. If you want to put it into a BeamMG level, you have to go to your your Steam folder and pick one. We'll put it in um, Utah. So right hand click, open with WinRAR, go to levels, Utah, art, and shapes. Drag that over here. Go get our shroom. Drag and drop. And click OK. So let's see. Right there, shroom. And there's the DAE and the two files. Now, if you wanted to put it into, for example, Car Jump Arena, you just go to your <clears throat> your mods folder and go to Car Jump Arena. Right hand click, open. And do the same thing. Levels, Car Jump Arena, Art, Shapes. Get your folder that you created. Just drag it and drop it over there. Now I cannot drop that over there because see I already have one over here. Right there. So that's why I didn't give it the same name. This one's Mushroom. And that one's Shroom because if I put that. Anyways, I don't want to venture down that rabbit hole. Alright, let's uh, launch BeamMG and let's go to the level uh, Utah. All right, so here we are in Utah.
Let's go down here. Let's press F11. And we got to go to Utah. Art. Shapes. Shroom. And there's our two JPEGs, our materials, and the DAE. And there you go. If you want to resize it, just press 3 on your keyboard and resize it. Control Z to undo what you just did. Or you can come over here and resize it by saying 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. That's another way of resizing it. If you can see, it's got a white edge to it. We'll press F11. Go to Environment and make it dark. If you want to make the edges glow like I did in the video, press F11. Windows. Materials. Lighting. Glow. I thought it was glow, so it's emissive. And that's how I got it to glow. And then just put a couple of lights on it real quick. Add spotlight. <coughs> Highlight your spotlight. And we'll increase the range to 20 and make it 30. The radius to 55. <coughs> so if you're doing something at night, that's a good way of lighting it up. That's how you put the little white border on it. And we'll go to Escape environment and put the daylight back on one more thing let's go ahead and spawn a vehicle while we're here once you get the mushroom in here if you have it set at collision mesh you can see you'll go right through it just come over here and change it to visible mesh visible mesh hit control f7 up here it will say rebuild static or you can simply go to edit and rebuild collision and then this should become a sol solid object. So anyways, that's how you get the shroom of doom into any level and make it a solid object and make it glow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.